Hello world, today we have 2009 MacBook Pro with the problem attempts to boot and then shuts down. So uh, we're going to demonstrate the problem. I connected, I disconnected the customer's hard drive so it doesn't shut off all the time. And I connected my external one here with several installations of Mac OS. And I also connected my uh, halfway working keyboard to actually choose between option to choose between the booting uh, source because I have several OSs installed on it. So uh, after you know after we go through without troubleshooting. So let's get to it then. Okay, power it on. Oops, the battery is disconnected. Okay. Power it on, including the option button, so we can choose, okay, and we're gonna choose, oops, that's it, it's done, okay, once again, power it on, hold an option, choose an El Capitan, Starts to boot. Give it a little bit more time. That's it, done. Same thing happens with the internal drive. So I just didn't want uh, to mess with it. Right, so I disconnected it. So uh, I had a lot of this back in the day, so since 2009. And uh, our problem is, our problem is, is right here, right here. That's the keyboard. Actually, had it disconnected, kind of. So, uh, let me start it up. Usually, uh, what happens is this keyboards, you know, if you have a little uh, liquid damage there on the keyboard, uh, the power button is acting like it's always pressed. That's a really common issue it used to be on these models. Okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn it on and disconnect the battery. Okay. Not the battery, I mean the keyboard. Okay, the keyboard disconnected as you can see. So I was holding option two on the external keyboard. That's why I use my external keyboard because I can't really choose if the keyboard is connected. And, and it's not gonna boot in high Sierra because it's too old. So we're gonna hit enter on El Capitan and see what we got. Yeah, it's a little slow. It's just a regular hard drive. It's not solid state drive. But it did not shut off yet. She did not shut off yet. So we should be good to go. Just in a little bit. So all, the, all this little uh, MacBook needs to get it going, going again is the new keyboard. That's all it is. Oh, well. Harder screws out and harder screws in. So that's, that's uh, a little more to that. <laughs> It's a process of replacing these keyboards. Not as bad as the newer ones with the rivets, because these are still screws, good old screws, okay? So we're good to go. Just the keyboard. That's all that's wrong with it. So actually, I'm gonna try to connect the keyboard. You're gonna see, actually. Let me try to connect the keyboards. I'm, I'm gonna be holding this. I'm gonna try to connect the keyboard so you can see what exactly is happening, actually. The little message is gonna come up. The power button is pressed. Did I get it in? Oops. <laughs> yep. As soon as I got that keyboard in, it shut off. As you can see, the keyboard is in and it shut off. All right. So the keyboard is our problem here. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.